Oh boy, it's Friday. Welcome again to another exciting episode of Crypto Espresso, your teeny tiny daily shot of caffeinated crypto headlines. I'm your host, Andrew, and it's only the 2nd of September, but I'm already wearing a turtleneck sweater and sipping on a pumpkin spice coffee. <laughs> How did this happen? First up, Bitcoin is struggling to stay above $20,000, falling below this psychologically significant price point on the seventh day in a row. And if history is anything to go on, September is shaping up to be a challenging month. According to Coinglass, since 2017, the world's biggest cryptocurrency has ended every September in negative territory. Some analysts are especially worried about what will happen if Bitcoin dips under the 52-week low of $17,700. And those analysts are worried that a new crypto contagion could sweep the market, tipping even more companies into bankruptcy. Bitcoin's value plunged by 13.8% last month in what was the worst August performance since 2015. The Fed's interest rate rises and fears of a recession are pushing people on edge. Some Celsius network users may soon be allowed to start withdrawing cryptocurrency from their accounts. Kinda. The relaxed rule would only apply to customers who are part of the custody program, meaning they stored digital assets with the company but didn't earn any interest. In a new court filing, Celsius's lawyers said they wanted to unlock $50 million in crypto that shouldn't form part of the bankruptcy proceedings. Sure, this is a move in the right direction, but there's much more work to be done. A total of $210 million is owed to users through the custody program, and $4.3 billion in the EARN program. Celsius Network has described its new proposal as fair and appropriate, and a hearing is due to be held on October 6th. No, you're not hallucinating, Twitter is getting an edit button. But the new feature isn't being so welcomed in crypto circles. Some users have warned crypto scammers are licking their chops at the idea, amid fears it could be weaponized in an attempt to deceive followers. Others quipped that analysts who often make bold predictions about where Bitcoin's price is heading next will never be wrong again since they can easily edit their past predictions. Some security experts also fear this tool could be used to add crypto scams and phishing links into tweets that go viral. But these concerns may be for naught since there are some safeguards in place. For one, tweets can only be edited for 30 minutes after posting, and an icon will denote when changes are made. Especially crucial, it will be possible to see past versions of an edited tweet. And finally, Bitcoin performs far worse during Asia's trading hours than Europe's. This is according to new data. Arcane Research examined how the world's biggest cryptocurrency has fared in the year to date, segregating results on three key time zones. So far in 2022, Bitcoin has suffered a net loss of 41.74% during Asian trading hours, with the most substantial downside being experienced during the Three Arrows capital collapse in June. Over the same period, Bitcoin has fallen by 25% when Wall Street was open. Arcane analysts added, the US market hours seems to be the most significant contributor to Bitcoin's direction. Overall, the most erratic price movements have occurred during US market hours. Net losses during European trading stand at just 1.36%. But let's not talk about net loss, let's talk about net gain. We want to gain likes to this video subscribers and folks who click on that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes live. Yeah, we want those sick gains. And how much do you bench, bro? Do you even lift? Let me know in those comments below because I read them and I might just shout the good ones out in our next episode. And while you're in those comments, check out the video description. Ask Alex in said description to find out more info on today's headlines or crypto in general. Alex is also a great resource for all things Web3 and the metaverse. And that wraps up our week here at Crypto Espresso. We expect to see all of you bright-eyed and bushy-tailed on Monday. Ladies and gentlemen, the weekend.